They take 20 weeks to build and are delivered on the back of a lorry. Two modular homes have been installed in Coventry as part of a pioneering housing project. They're a similar idea to post-war prefabs made off-site but much longer lasting. And it's hoped they'll help meet the city's demand for 40,000 new homes. Joan Cummings reports. Les and Judy have lived in their Willen Hall home for 37 years. They've seen loads of changes, including today's the installation of pre-built houses on a disused piece of land. And the scouts, they didn't last there long, and next thing you know, just went into disrepair. And the locals came in, you know, lot vandals along and just wrecked it, so they ended up demolishing it. I think they look lovely. During a 20-week build, the site was cleared and the modular homes were transported from their Craigley Heath factory before being craned into position. The builders insist they're way superior to prefabs from the post-war era. Technology has moved on a hell of a lot in the last 70, 80 years and what you see today is that technology taking place. These two modular homes cost £134,000 to build, but the ease at which they can be inserted into small parcels of land is allowing the Housing Association to consider using them across Coventry. The old stigma of social housing, cheap is best, doesn't exist anymore. The, we've built these as good, if not better, than any houses that have been built through traditional construction at this moment in time, and it costs the same. The two and three bedroomed homes will be handed over to the tenants later this week. Mr and Mrs Dyer, welcome to your new home. A point of celebration for the Dare family, who say they're excited by their beautiful new home. First time I'm very happy, <laughs> because new molder, a new house, and beautiful house. Thank you for giving me that one. There are thousands on housing lists across the country. Here in Coventry, there are 3,000 families looking for a home. It's now hoped that these modular homes could provide a solution to that crisis. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today, Coventry.